So, Gilles, um, what is at stake today in terms of e-powertrains? Powertrain represents 10% of the cost of battery electric vehicle. To increase range and affordability, we can rely on our 10 years experience to continue to improve our efficiency in this area. As of today, we have already reduced the cost between first generation Zoe back in 2013 and the new Megan E by 20%. And that's only the beginning. So what are your key focus areas today? In terms of poor train efficiency, we have three areas of focus. First, we will keep on relying on electrically excited synchronous motor. Complex name, isn't it? Yes. For EESM. This is a very efficient e-motor technology that doesn't require rare earth magnets. We are not starting from scratch. Indeed, Renault has today a lot of experience in the EESM as we were the first to use this technology. And seems we are right because competitors are now following us. Second, Renault is working on an innovative, compact and smart concept of power electronics. Philippe Brunet will give you more explanation in a few minutes. Lastly, Renault's future BEV will integrate in one single package no less than the e-motor, the reducer, the charger, the DC-DC and the inverter. Okay, well, we're going to have a look now at the action plan to get there. And as you mentioned, we're going to go back to Philippe Brunet. Hello again. Our first focus area is the e-motor and the reducer. The electrically excited synchronous motor, so-called ESM, has several advantages. First, it is free of rare earth materials. Second, it is the most efficient technology for mid-load and highway driving condition, particularly suitable for the European market. Third, it is an efficient and cost-oriented solution to optimize the energy consumption of 4x4 BEV application. Our next generation of ESM motors will gradually embed new techno-bricks from 2024, like stator airpin, glued motor stack, brushless, and hollow rotor shaft, still pushing for a better efficiency and a lower cost. And on top of these new technologies, Renault Group is working on a very innovative axial flow e-motor developed with a French startup, Wilot. Thanks to its investment, Renault Group has the exclusivity rights for automotive application. We should be the first OEM to produce on a large scale the axial flow e-motor from 2025. We'll start by our hybrids, HEV and PHEV, Cost is expected to be reduced by 5% and up to 2.5 grams CO2 on WLTP would be saved for a HEV BC segment passenger car. Then, the extension to BEVs is also under consideration. Our second focus area is power electronics, which includes inverter, DC-DC and onboard charger. This is top priority to us since this system represents the two-thirds of the total e-powertrain cost. Several levels will enable us to improve our competitiveness. The integration of inverter, DC-DC, and onboard charger into a one unique box produced within Renault Group is one of them. A more compact design, 800 volt compliant, less parts, to optimize the cost. Finally, we aim to use this one bond concept across platforms and powertrain types, BEV, HEV, and PHEV, to gain further scale effects. And with the one box project, we'll introduce a new generation of power module fitting our needs, so-called wide band gap with silicon carbide for inverter and gallium nitride for DC-DC and onboard charger. This will be made possible thanks to a strategic partnership with ST Microelectronic, securing upscale production for cost competitiveness as well as capacity supply. Let's now move 
to the third focus area, the all-in-one system. Thanks to all previous innovation, optimized design, and extended control of the value chain, Renault Group will introduce by 2526 an innovative all-in-one system. It will include the e-motor, the reducer, and the one-box concept power electronics. As summary, this all-in-one system will offer, compared to today's basis, first, a more compact design, reducing by 45% the volume of the e-power train, reallocating to the vehicle cabin the equivalent volume of a Clio fuel tank. Second, a less expensive system, reducing by 30% the cost of the overall powertrain, this saving being equivalent to the cost of the e-motor. And third, a more efficient system, reducing by 45% the e-powertrain wasted energy on WLTP, allowing to extend the EV range by 20 kilometers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Philippe. Uh, so, Gilles, again, this is all very ambitious. My question to you is, how, how are you going to work to achieve this in terms of manufacturing? Well, to face the challenges of the production of e-motor and reducer, Renault has already invested to further increase the production output. Therefore, Renault will extend the production of e powertrain in its Cléon, Ruiz, and Seville plants. Moreover, we will industrialize the large-scale production of axial flux motor with next generation of HEV E-Tech. To do so, we will convert our combustion engine plants into e-motor plants. Simultaneous design and process development will reduce our investment to a level of around 50 million euros, making up to 500,000 units per year. It will also increase process flexibility to adjust to the market's needs. And of course, you'll need a very solid network of uh, partners and suppliers for that. You're right. Vertical integration and partnerships are the second lever to increase range and affordability for our electric vehicles. As shown by Philippe, Renault will integrate power electronics vertically by developing advanced electronics competencies. On top of that, we will also internalize the assembly of power electronics components. As a matter of fact, mastering the power electronic value chain, thanks to our partnership with ST Microelectronic, is our strategic decision. So, Gilles, it's clear that uh, you're building on your know-how and experience, and you are already preparing the next generation. And on the industrial side, you're entering a new dimension to keep one step ahead. Thank you.